There's an item in the game that you may or may not know about, and that is Smelly's Lucky Do. It's awarded from the Monk Class Hall campaign in Legion, and it reads Luck plus 5, still unrecognisable even when assembled. Now I carry this around on my Monk when I'm doing mount runs, all that kind of jazz. It doesn't seem to do much, but plus 5 luck isn't very much either. What if we were to have a lot more though? What if we were to have a ton of luck and see what happens? And well, that's exactly what I did. I got myself as many lucky do's as possible. I basically filled my bags with them. You don't want to know how long that took, but we ended up with 735 plus luck. And then a little bit after that, I decided we didn't need hearthstones. What do you need those for? So we got rid of those as well. And then I ended up with an extra two lucky do's, which put us on 745 plus luck. If you were to convert that into a different stat like versatility, for example, you'd have somewhere around like 15 to 20%. So a good significant amount that should hopefully make a difference. And now the next thing to do was start doing some mount farming. Our first stop was going to be Karazhan, so we went inside the raid version first of all and tried to get the fiery war horse. And well, no luck on that one so far, but the luck chance isn't 100% right, so there's still chances that we won't get a mount. So next up we went over to the dungeon version of Karazhan and tried for midnight, and nothing on that either. So so far, zero of two, not looking too promising, but continued with the test anyway. Next up was Zulgrub, and from here we tried for the Armadras Ashiraptor, nothing from that, and then we moved over to the Swift Zulian Panther, and that was a negatory, so 0 of 4. Starting to not look too confident in the Lucky Doos, but we continued on with our journey. Next up was the Cobalt Diahorn from Undosto, a world boss, so drop chance is very very low on this. We killed it, and honestly I'm glad I didn't get the mount, but we didn't get the mount from this. Same with the Shower of Anger, headed over to that for the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent, and nothing from that. And then finally we moved over to the Son of Galleon, and no drop there either. So right now we're like 0 of 7, not looking too promising for our luck strategy. We moved over to the Isle of Thunder and tried for the Thundering Cobalt Cloud Serpent, no drop there. We moved inside of Throne of Thunder and went for the Spawn of Horridon, after being knocked off the bridge a few times because of some bugs, but... Tried for that, no drop on that. Then we tried for the Clutch of G Gun and no drop there again. At this point, we are 0 of 10 and we're starting to get some significant data towards whether these actually do anything or not, or maybe I've just wasted my entire time. So next up, we moved over to Black Hand for the Iron Hoof Destroyer. That put us on to 0 of 11. Then we move over to some BC raids. We tried for the Raven Lord, nothing there. We moved over to Kelfast for Ashes of La, nothing again. I felt like Kelfast hadn't had enough punishments, so then we went over to the Swift White Hawk Strider, killed Kelfast again, and no drop once more. I was trying to pick out as many of the quicker raids to do, so next up we moved over to Alakir for the Drake of the South Wind, and that was our 15th attempt at a mount, and no mount again, so we're 0 of 15, no mount so far. So then we moved over to Malagos, because obviously Malagos has that chance of dropping both the Blue Drake and the Azure Drake. And we finally got him out. We got the Azur Drake. I already have that, thankfully, on retail. So deleting it on the PTR was no pain at all. But we've got our first mount. And, well, maybe that means things are going to turn around from here. And then finally, we moved over to the Firelands. Because it wouldn't be a Scylla video if you didn't get some kind of mount value out of this as well. And if you didn't know, Firelands, you can actually do normal and heroic in the same week. You just go in, you kill the two mount bosses on normal. You go out, you swap it over to Heroic, and you can go back in on the same weekly lockout. If you didn't know that, make sure you are doing that, because that'll give you an additional chance at those mounts each week. But went inside, killed both of the bosses on normal, we got nothing, and then we headed in and did it again on Heroic. And if you also didn't know, while you're killing a list resort, if you, as long as you don't mess it up like I did the first time, if you, before you kill the boss, you click the free feathers, and then kill the boss and loot it quick enough, you can actually fly over to where you fight Major Domo, and you can just walk inside without killing any of the other bosses, Saving you a bunch of time, so there's two bits of value for this video. But we killed both the bosses, Ellis Resort and Ragnaros on both Normal and Heroic, and no mounts again. So that brings us to somewhat of a conclusion for our smelly lucky doos. Should you be rushing to the auction house to buy up as many of these as possible? I mean, maybe, right? Maybe I got an extremely unlucky. Maybe the luck was inside us all along. Or maybe I wasted a bunch of gold and time with this idea. But either way, I thought it would be some fun and somewhat enjoyable. I hope at least it was somewhat enjoyable. Outside of that, look out for more videos coming soon. Give a subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.